Hello everyone, uh, I'm here in Oak Park uh, and I'm in the field of oil seed rape as you can see behind me here and today what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a look at the crop here and I'm going to look at it for two reasons. First of all we're going to have a look at it from the point of view of making a fertiliser recommendation for the season ahead and secondly what I want to do is I want to have a look at it from the point of view of disease and see what diseases are here in the crop particularly looking for the likes of oil seed or of light leaf spot which can have a fairly detrimental effect on yield if we get a bad infection uh, in the crop here. So first of all, what I want to do is I want to have a look at uh, the fertilizer recommendations for the crop here. Um, as you can see here behind me, it's actually quite a good crop. There's good cover on the crop here at the moment. So we know uh, with oil seed rape, that's a positive thing because re research has shown us that uh, where you have good leaf in the crop, oil seed rape actually stores nitrogen in that leaf and that's nitrogen that we don't actually need to apply in terms of chemical fertilizer. And in the year, I suppose, in 2022, where nitrogen prices are as high as they are, that's a very important consideration uh, for, for a crop like this. So, and there are real potential savings that we can actually make there. So I suppose the question is, how do we make uh, a nitrogen recommendation based on the leaf here? So it's a very simple thing that we do. It's, uh, it's based on an app called the Green Area Index app. Uh, and we take simply take photographs of the of the crop here. And bear in mind that we try to keep our feet out of the of the of the of the video or of the picture as well, so that we get a good clear picture of uh, the crop that's underneath us. And what we do then is we take a number of photographs of the crop across the field, because like most crops, uh, this crop here there are some pigeons grazing in it, and there are going to be different areas which have higher leaf covers uh, and some with lower leaf covers so we need to get a representative sample of all of those. So as we know uh, uh, with a GAI or the GAI app that's there uh, the measurements show that where you have a GAI of one that's equal to uh, about 50 kilos per hectare of nitrogen actually in the crop. So what does GAI mean? GAI is basically the green area index is the measure of leaf in that a square meters. A green area index of one means that we have one meter square of leaf material in that meter. So, and that contains, as we said, about 50 kilos per hectare of nitrogen. So that's again a real saving that we, we can make in that. So I'm going to show you now how to make, uh, a, a, how to use the green area index app on your iPhone. If you have an iPhone, it's very simple to use. Uh, when you take the photographs, you just feed it into the app uh, and it gives you a recommendation. But if you don't have a, an iPhone or you just have an Android, if you Google Green Area Index, you can use an online tool with the same photographs. Just feed those photographs into that tool and it'll do exactly the same thing. Okay, so on my mobile phone here, I have this uh, Green Area Index, Index app tool. And I'm just going to show you how simple it is to use this app in order to, to, to create a recommendation or to capture a GAI for the crop here in front of me. So on the app here, I have two options here. I can either use, take a photograph here, or I can use a photograph that I've already used, I've, I've, I've already taken. So what I'm going to do here now is just going to quickly take a photograph of the crop here in front of me. Again, bearing in mind that I'm going to try and keep my feet out of the app so it doesn't affect the picture. Just so simply take that. I opt here to use that photo. I select the area that I'm in, so I'm just going to say here, Oak Park. Just say Oak Park, and we select the county. I normally select something like Lancashire here, which is kind of about the same uh, latitude as ourselves. So, Lancashire, do that. Uh, and the date is today, which is the 1st of February. And I simply save that there, and it gives me a GAI of about one. So I know in the crop here in front of me, that that GAI is giving me about 50 kilos of nitrogen per hectare based on the fact that it's, it's an, a GAI of almost one. And that's a real saving that I can make in a crop here based on that GAI. So I carry out a number of those different uh, photographs and GAI measurements across the crop here, and that gives me then an average for the crop here today. In the crop here, as you can see, we had a, a GAI of one. So that's a real saving. And if you look at the table here, uh, you can see that in this crop here, the recommendation is we don't need to spread nitrogen on this crop until somewhere around early March. Uh, whereas if the crop had a GAI of less than one, we would need to probably get out and spread some fertilizer on this in late February. The other thing I've done here today is I've taken 
quite a few samples of leaves around the place from the different parts of the crop to try and see uh, if there's any light leaf spot here. So I have them all here in the bag here. So what I'm going to do with the bag is I'm going to throw it into the hot press uh, for about 48 hours to see if any light, the typical light leaf, lesion, light leaf spot lesions come up so we can actually then decide whether we, whether we need to treat or not. Hopefully we won't in this crop here. It's a, it's a variety with high uh, levels of resistance to light leaf spots. If light leaf spot infects this crop, it infects the, the flower buds and kills the flower buds, which in turn reduces the number of pods and seeds that we're going to have in the crop. Uh, and obviously that's going to have an impact on yield. So that's it for today. Hopefully you found this uh, video useful. If, you, if so, please like and subscribe to our Chagas Crops YouTube channel and make sure you click the button at the bottom of the screen uh, so that you get notifications of all the different videos that we put up throughout the season. Um, so that's it for today. Thanks for, thanks for viewing and hopefully we'll see you again soon.